what's going on guys chanel stevens here welcome to this video and today i'm gonna be having a questions and answers video about cpa market and affiliate marketing i got a ton of questions here if it's your first time to the channel or if you've been to my channel before i haven't made a video in like three months like i can't even believe it's been like 90 days but everything been good like it's been perfect like i'm definitely truly truly blessed you know i haven't made a video in like three months i was like what better way than just make another video you know what i'm saying and come with like some value so like i got questions and answers for y'all today so i'm gonna go over all these cpa marketing questions that i found stick around in this video because i just might answer a question that you might have been wanting to ask me this question says what are the most powerful ways you would recommend studying in 2019 to bring visitors and traffic especially in clickbait so i would say the most powerful ways i would recommend literally go on my channel i have clickbank and facebook ads i'm showing you how to set it up matter of fact i'm probably gonna do another video on that just showing like other strategies because i'm only teaching you guys like one way but just facebook traffic facebook is the best platform out there because like it's easy for a beginner to understand how to start sending traffic because that it's not hard it, like the targeting is really really simple it's really really easy i would suggest facebook traffic all right so this question says well it's not really a question but they were saying i was frustrated at the lack of good content for people trying to learn i understand your concern but at the same time nobody is out there trying to give out their secrets that's like one thing because you know i make these videos and you guys see me and i even know like one time on this channel like I even exposed, like I became vulnerable myself uh, when I was doing one of those live webinars. You guys can see it. I actually exposed my affiliate link on like the live webinar. So tons and tons of affiliates were like watching that workshop. And it was pretty crazy because like tons, like basically my offer just got ripped like right off the spot. That's why I didn't mind to like put it in my course. So, you know, I gave it to my students and everything like that. But a lot of affiliates don't like to come out and make YouTube videos because you're making yourself vulnerable. Me putting myself out here, making videos for you guys, logging in and showing stuff, that makes me very, very vulnerable. That's kind of one of the reasons why I stopped that because a lot of people out there, like it might not be you, but there's a lot of sketchy people out there and they're looking to knock off your campaign, steal your landers, steal your offers and you just gotta watch it. And I know that CPA marketing goes all about swipe, improve, deploy. At the same time, most people don't swipe and approve. Most people just copy and paste, you know? And um, it's okay, like in the beginning, like, okay, you get your start, you might, you know, just copy and paste some campaigns. But at the end of the day, that's not going to get you much success with CPA marketing because you have to dive deep. Like You have to get real creative about your angles, your ad angles, um, you know, the creatives you use. You're going to have to be unique with your creatives. You know, people just come and just steal creatives all the time. So you got to kind of be like incognito. I suggest even sometimes using dark posts. Don't even post your CPA campaigns on your actual fan page because that's an easy way for them to get ripped as well. Be frustrated. I mean, it's good content out there that'll help you get started, but at the same time, nothing out there is gonna just be like, oh yeah, here's a $100,000 campaign right here. I mean, all campaigns have the potential to make you $100,000, but you are not finna log on to YouTube and just get landing pages, offers, targeting options. You know, that's the actually giveaway in my course. And I actually do that for people in my course. All right, so the next question says, the market just seems full of scams and fake experts selling very superficial information. So a lot of these not even questions, a lot of these is like statements, but we can address that. There is some scams within like CPA marketing that you guys really do need to watch for and that's a lot of newbies I see be getting finessed by like CPA networks well I've heard tons and tons of stories of newbies like getting finessed by CPA networks so that's one thing I would advise you to only only work with reputable CPA networks or affiliate networks period you just have to do your research go on afpan.com AFF paying Dot com and look at the reviews look at what people are saying you know make sure that they're actually paying people check out the payment terms don't just sign up now you realizing oh you're not gonna get paid unless you make five thousand dollars or something like that like, you want to just make sure you paying attention to like what the terms is how they gonna be paying you you want to know all that before you even start spending money 
sending traffic? What's a good traffic source that has good volume of traffic? Facebook, Bing, YouTube ads. I mean, there's so many traffic sources. I'm gonna make a video on traffic sources and things like that because um, a lot of people ask that question. I tried many times and wasted money without them in profit. Like that's a vague statement. You gotta look at your data. Did you even invest enough in your data so that you can turn a profit? Because most CPA campaigns start off negative and it's about turning that negative into a positive. You might start your campaign, you might be losing $40 a day. You might be spending $40 a day, losing $40 a day the first day. Second day, you might spend 40, only lose 30. The third day, you might spend 40 and only lose 20. You know, and it is it improves day by day. So, I mean, it's either you optimizing or you not. You testing enough creatives or you just launching this one little ad to this one little uh, landing page to this one offer and you're just hoping for a miracle that that's just the winning combination all of you gonna get thousands of clicks and people just supposed to be buying through that like you got to test more things test more ads test more landing pages test more offers it's that simple so for using landing pages with paid search ads what are elements information should I include so that to avoid any policy or account suspensions? Like that's things you can find really on Google. I'm pretty sure you have to use disclaimers, uh, earnings disclaimer, privacy policy, terms of service. Go look at Google ad policies and just see every page. But I mean, that's all that I include on my actual sites and I have no issues, so that should be good. All right, somebody says, can someone explain to me why hosting is needed? Can I use lead pages or click funnels instead? Yes, you can. You don't have to have hosting. It just depends on what traffic source you're buying traffic. Like, what are you trying to do? That's really determined on, like, you know, what type of pages you're going to need to create. But for the most part, yeah, you can just host on ClickFunnels lead pages. The only reason why you would need hosting is if you need um, to host your actual pages or something on there. Or um, you may need to use WordPress. You may need plugins. I don't know why you would need hosting. You'll have, I just really need to know like yo, like what you're trying to do really to really like go into death with that. Lead pages and click funnels, that's all I use. I'm not um, mostly click funnels and instability. Which country should I target my campaign and which is the best traffic source I should use? Well, as far as countries, I definitely suggest whatever country that you feel yo, you can speak to your target audience in. If you feel like the offer is more for Americans, um, definitely advertise to America. You got to do the research and see is this whatever type of offer it is. First of all, figure out if what countries are even allowed. And also, if it is like a worldwide offer, then what language is it? Is it an English offer? Is it, you know, Russian offer? Like what, what language is it in? If it's English, then just go with America and just keep it simple. Start with that or just the English speaking countries, the top five, United States, United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, just target just those top five and you should be good. All right, and somebody says with mobile pop under, would you recommend using run of network for newbies? Uh, I would definitely suggest using run of network because I mean, how else you gonna realize how to optimize? You gotta figure out uh, which sites is you know converting, which sites is not converting. I mean, unless you wanna, if unless you can target each site individually, I would just try all the sites that they got in the inventory. You never know, you can find like usually like with mobile traffic, you try and get like that real real cheap traffic. So I like definitely would suggest run of network for that. All right, this question says, how can I get an affiliate network or is ClickBank a good choice? Well, I mean, you just apply, maybe go through an interview. So just go through the interview. Tell them, you know, what you're going to be doing. If it's going to be Facebook ads, hey, I'm sending Facebook traffic to, you know, if is it a survey offer? Is it a real estate offer? Whatever offer it is, just tell them you're going to send Facebook traffic to it or Bing traffic to it. You know, make sure that it's actually allowed if they say we actually don't allow that then you know say okay well what offers can i you know any alternative offers similar to that one that i can send facebook traffic to and then you just talk to them like you're a real affiliate and then they'll take you serious but if you calling up there you already asking questions and acting needy before you even get in they're gonna not take you serious and they're gonna deny your application you gotta be serious you gotta already kind of know what you're gonna be doing and um that's why it's good to have a good direction so when you apply you know you're making it easier on yourself and clickbank is definitely a good choice definitely still sign up for clickbank but you want to apply to these networks and get in because
these uh, affiliate networks, you could do offers like single opt-in offers, and those are really, really neat to run uh, for beginners as well. All right, so this question says, why we need to have a new landing page in between traffic source and advertisers offer page with fields? So I guess you're talking about like an opt-in, like an opt-in landing page. Why are you making opt-in landing pages? But before the offers, advertisers offer page, I mean, that's just to basically build a long-term business, build an email list, and that's smart to do. Most affiliates actually go that route, um, and it's just more of a long-term strategy than like direct linking. Sometimes it's worth it. You know, you can make more money, you know, in the long run by mailing the offers over and over again. And the only thing I would ever worry about is just like, you know, maybe conversions dropping. But sometimes, it's, in my opinion, sometimes it's not worth it. And then sometimes, on, on some cases, it is worth it. So you just gotta determine on that campaign what's really worth it, what's not worth it. Could you introduce some affiliate networks to me or recommend the standard to choose affiliate networks? Yeah, sure, just sign up for Max Bounty, Purefly, ClickBank, and AdWord Media. Like, those four, you should definitely get in at least one because those are very, very newbie friendly. All right, this one says, I'm from Russia. I have a budget of $12,000. I have little experience in arbitration, and I want to ask you for advice on how to begin a, begin as a newbie. What is the source of traffic? I want to start with mobile traffic, and I'm interested in pop under traffic. They say Google will tighten the rules and the pop under will die. I'm afraid of losing money for nothing. Please advise where to start more correctly. Um, Just instead of Google, just do like propeller ads. Just try it out. I mean, if if it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's these networks and these mo like mobile traffic sources, like the rules change all the time, but the rules is changing because the laws is changing. Google is changing. Facebook is changing. So, you know, stuff does change rapidly and that does affect you when you do CPA marketing. So you just gotta keep it in mind and just remember that in the back of your head, you know, as you're running your campaigns and you got something going, crush it. That's why I teach how to scale and do all that other stuff. Do it because you don't know what could change, what rules, it, all of a sudden your offer could get pulled. Even with CPA networks, that's another risk. The offer's pausing. We're, you know, they're done with this offer. We're not going to, we not need any more affiliates for it. And you have to go find another offer. Got to be prepared with that in this game. Whatever you can get running, just run it. And if, if it dies and just move on. All right. And this person says, can you share with us? some pages that run great ads to inspire from them. I'm, I'm not gonna say pages, I'm gonna say books, books. So what you read, need to read is just more on like advertising stuff like that. So get books like Cash Advertising, Words That Sell, look up David Ogilvy, you know, Russell Brunson. Just start looking at all Frank Kerr, start watching the OG stuff. Look at their ads, go to their pages, just figure out who the industry titans are and basically just watch what they do. Cause marketing, I mean, it's not about reinventing the wheel and all this other stuff. It's about seeing what's been working. As people been advertising for years before me and you were even born. So, I mean, you just gotta really focus on knowledge and just getting smarter and getting that wisdom so you can understand how to write better copy for your ads you know come up with those creatives come up with different ad angles you got to learn the art of ad angles you got to learn that the art of writing copy you got to learn the art of sending targeted traffic to your actual offers it's all an art that you got to master and there's no shortcuts there's no pages i need to recommend so you can just go and like try to copy and paste that stuff don't do that at the end of the day you got to get smarter so invest in yourself go on amazon look up who i uh, talked about get their books look them up on youtube and just you know start learning and um you know you'll be able to spot great ads your stuff will just pop up and you'll know that's good because you know it got your attention and you've been studying so that's how you want to kind of play it when you're actually um trying to get inspiration um, that's a better way of getting inspiration and also another tip when you do find those pages on Facebook you know you can click on infos and ads and you can see all the ads that that page is running so you can see what these big marketing gurus are doing on their pages what ads are they running you can kind of see what's kind of working and things like that so um, that's another neat trick as well so once you're inspired you can just go out there and you can create your own ads it'll make more sense 
on how you like wording stuff and the images you grab for your actual offer you know you'll just have a better idea on how you should craft it how you should you know what you should write on your landing page how should your landing page even look you know things like that will just come more natural as you're in this game and um i just advise you to just get started with that sooner or later because you're gonna need those skills if you want to last in this game so basically you're gonna need those skills if you want to last in the game you know it's only so much copy and paste and other affiliate stuff you can do i mean that's a way to get started and a way to get your feet in the door start learning how to run ads and stuff but you want to become a super affiliate you got to learn the art so that you can crush it for yourself so that when it comes to setting up campaigns you just know it like the back of your hand you understand how to test you understand how to put stuff together and how to make ad angles and next you know you got a hundred thousand two hundred dollars three hundred thousand cpa marketing campaign off from your ideas to me that sounds like a good deal so so that's all i got for this video guys thanks for watching this video if you feel like i should answer any more questions or make a part four make sure you drop that in the comments drop your questions whatever if you like this q a video make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you aren't i'm out